Hi, I'm Dion Dublin, and you're watching Talk Sport Magazine. I think it's a, it's a sideways moves. It's a sideways step. So if you're moving from Aston Villa to Man City in regards stature of football club, uh, whether he'll gain from that, I don't know. Football-wise, quality football, they are bringing a lot of players in Man City. They are spending a lot of money. Is he going to get um, submerged in quality players where he doesn't get enough football? and he starts sitting on the bench. Uh, I, I don't think we need James Milner sat on the bench anyway. He needs to play week in, week out. I don't feel sorry for Wayne. Wayne's a big man now, you know, he knows what he's doing. You know, he's, he's, he's a world-class footballer. I can't feel sorry for players if they get caught doing something they shouldn't be doing, i.e. maybe having a fag, having a few beers. I can't feel sorry for them at all. If you're out and you're drinking and falling about, then you deserve to be, um, you know, not, not to be shown up, you, be, you, you deserve to be made an embarrassment of. Rio Ferdinand not being there. And I've said it before, I think he was a huge loss. Because uh, I, I spoke to Stevie Claridge. Stevie Claridge made a point. So when you look around the dressing room, you see Rio Ferdinand, you think, that'll do me. He wasn't there. So you've lost a leader, which is a big, big thing. It's not a hindrance having them here, it's a help having foreign players here in regards to the standard of football, the quality of football we have. It's definitely you know, a plus. What I think we should do is we should limit the amount that start in the first 11 on a Saturday. That's just my opinion. I think it will give football clubs more of, a, more of an incentive to make sure that their academy is right, make sure the kids are coming through. The establishment are from Nottingham. Uh, five, five lads in between the ages of 22 and 35, um, sort of kooks, car, scouting for girls, cards of chiefs, all rolled into one. Very good band. They will do very, very well. I'm just trying to help them along the way. Yeah, there is there's a huge part of that, let me tell you. I think you'll find that a lot of music people love football and would wish they'd have been footballers. And footballers are, you know, very similar to that. They wish they could get into the music side of things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, but you expect it though, you know. You're, you're in the dressing room with the boys, you, you know. All kinds of things are being said, and then you say, "Come with a game of golf." I said, "No, I'd rather not. I've got a sax, saxophone lesson." And I, I get hammered for it, but you know, I took it on the chin. I'm big enough, lad. I've got big enough shoulders to do that. Paul Lynch gave me a bit. Um, Paul Parker tried to give me a bit of stick, but he couldn't because his gear was shocking. Um, and all the other boys. All the, they were seniors to me, you know, I was a young boy then, and Schmeichel and Mark Hughes and Steve Bruce, Gary Palace is now one of my best mates. Um, they all gave me loads of stick, but uh, they knew really that, you know, I was doing something I loved, so they sort of left me to it. Richard Shaw, at, at, uh, Richard Shaw at Coventry got absolutely hammered for it there. I'd probably do, I'd probably do something like uh, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay by Otis Redding, which I'd done with uh, Lee Sharp at Man United. Celebration dinner once, and we were sat on the beams, sat on the beams of a, of a room. Me and Lee Sharp, and he held the mic like that, and I sang. It was great fun. Not brilliant, not brilliant, but you know, it was uh, it was good fun, and I think I'd had a few uh, a few shandies. <laughs> neither, absolutely neither. Thank you very much. I'll take none of them. Choice is making me look like I do it all the time, which I don't. I'll have to say I don't. But um, if I had to dress up, I've, I've, I've done the um, Henry VIII thing quite a bit when I was a bit younger. Cambridge United, Coventry, a bit of Henry VIII. So I'll go for period costume dress. <laughs> <laughs>